Hello, my name is David. I spoke with you last time about updates to the frame of our admin, and I'm back to talk to you about updates to the orders page that you see in front of you right now. This is the next major step in a series of updates that we are doing to our admin UI. For all of these updates, our goal is to simplify the UI as much as we can, so we wanna make sure you have everything you need to do whatever you're supposed to do on this page without cluttering up the UI with anything else. The layout of the page hasn't changed too much in this new version, but to get our bearings, let's take a look at the familiar location, the old orders page. On this page, there are three separate main components, the search and filters area, then there's the orders table, which has all of the search results, and then there are a variety of peripheral actions, tracking information, shipping, and all of these options at the bottom of the page. Those have been reorganized into roughly the same three groupings. The first part up here is the search and filters area, which has been simplified. The second is the search results table. And there's this bulk actions column. All of the options that you saw above and below the previous table are organized to the right here on larger screens. And they're at the bottom of the page on smaller screens. The search and filters area still contains all of the same fields as it did before, but we've prioritized showing the ones that are used the most. The rest of them are still available, you just have to click on the show fewer filters. And it toggles open and closed a little drawer that contains everything else. Hiding some of the least used filters helps us hit that goal of keeping the UI uncluttered and making it easier for new users to understand what they're looking at. Just like the search and filters area, the orders page table has been redone to show just the most important information to the user. Reducing the amount of information on each row helps the server return search results faster and it declutters the admin. We're making use of UI tips within the order row so that you get a little bit more information about the icons that you're seeing. Also, if the order isn't completely paid for, you'll see that on the order row as well with the total showing up in red. To see a quick view of any order, you'll still click this arrow on the left and expand the order just like you did before. There are some significant differences between what you see here and what you used to see, so let's walk down the page and talk about each section. At the top you have information about where the order is from, as well as additional information if the channel provides it. You'll still use a drop down like you used to to change order status, and then you have the placed on and shipped on dates below. The table of items in the order should look pretty familiar, although you do not have the option to change the quantities, we've specifically moved that to the full orders page. There's an order comment section, which breaks out comments that came from the customer, comments that you have sent back to the customer, and comments that you have created internally. Customer comments are often directly related to what you need to do to process an order, so we've left this in the quick view area. New comments update on the page without a refresh. The important financial notes about the order are located here as well, and your payments received is color-coded to let you know at a glance if you've actually gotten all the money, which is green, and if you haven't, which is red. After that, you see the fulfillment area at the bottom of the quick expandable order, which gives you at a glance information about the postage and shipping for the order, and an option to purchase postage and enter a tracking number. We've purposely lightened up the expandable orders page quite a bit, and that's a big difference between this and the old version of the admin. In the old version of the admin, this expandable order details page was really no different from the full order details page, and we see that as a missed opportunity. In the new admin, this expandable orders page serves one purpose, to show you just enough information to get an uncomplicated order shipped. By moving some of the complex interactions to the main orders page, We've made it so that this smaller expandable version loads faster and you can move through processing your orders more quickly. What if there is an order that's complicated? What if some customer gets in touch and says, I need this thing today, otherwise cancel the order? Or what happens if you get a message that says, hey, there's, there might be something wrong with this order. Uh, check that out. Well, you wanna go to the full order details page and there's a couple of ways to get there. You can get there through this link there's obviously the full orders page button right here in the top right. And if a fraud analysis notification pops up, there is a link that says, see the full report, which will take you to the full orders page as well. We'll get to the fraud analysis component here in a second, but let's just go take a look in general at the full orders page. 
At first glance, you'll see that the full orders page is laid out pretty similarly to the quick orders page, except this sidebar here, which has customer information in it and a little fraud analysis tool underneath. The top part of the customer panel has the basic contact information for the customer associated with this order, as well as info about their buying history and any customer notes you might have added to their account. It also shows you the shipping and the billing addresses for this specific order. Moving down the sidebar, you see the fraud analysis tool, which shows you the data points that we look at to detect potential fraud on an order. The number of data points that we can analyze changes depending on where the order came from, so you're not always going to see the same thing over here. But if any of these data points do potentially seem fraudulent, there will be an orange notification here. Each one of the panels that seems potentially fraudulent will be lit up orange, and the meter will start to fill up based on how many of the data points have come back as potentially fraud. Part of what powers this fraud analysis tool are the reports that we get from the community through this fraud reporting mechanism we had in the old admin as well. If you know the order in question is fraudulent, please use this tool to report that fraud so that other community members can benefit from the most up-to-date list of fraudulent addresses possible. The rest of this main order details page should look pretty similar to the quick orders de order details page, with the exception of these two drop-downs one at the top of the page, and one in the order details area. These two drop-downs contain the major administrative options in the order for doing things like modifying payments, putting the order on hold, or for adding or editing the quantities associated with the order. That's all for this video. If you do have any questions, definitely check out the knowledge base for the orders tab, or get in touch with support. We definitely want to hear your feedback about the changes, if you do like things, if you don't like things. Regardless, we want to make sure that we're hearing your voices.